from the damage are ongoing in the flood ravaged mountain town of Swannanoa as well. WRL's Monica Casey spoke with volunteers pulling together there. I'm at the Savage Operations Center in Swannanoa, where dozens of volunteers have come together to deliver supplies to people in need using private helicopters. All of this is here because one father couldn't reach his family while out of town. He drove 18 hours to evacuate them and then pulled together this community of volunteers. They've delivered 500,000 pounds of supplies in less than a week. This story coming up on WRL tomorrow morning at 430. Reporting in Swannanoa, Monica Casey, WRL News. And I'm Aaron Thomas and the WRL Live Center. Want to break some news that we just found out just within the past five minutes from Buncombe County officials. We've now learned that there are an additional 11 deaths to add to the death toll. That's adds, that's now 72 deaths in Buncombe County alone. We now know that there's at least a 105 in the state. We take a total look at other states impacted by the storm. Uh, this is we're talking about 200 people who have sadly died, so definitely a grim number. Right now we can see the uh, live press conference that's underway where we've learned a lot of this information from Buncombe County leaders. With this new death toll, at least 200 people, this is now one of the deadliest storms to hit the mainland since Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Aaron, thank you.